Hey, what's up, Nerd Squad? We're back with, a, with another NFL record prediction. Before I get started, make sure to smash that like button, and let's jump right into it. Today, we're going to be predicting the Houston Texans record for 2020, and I'm going to say right off the bat, um, Deshaun Watson is incredible. Um, I think he still has the potential to be a top five quarterback in this league this next year. Um, however, Bill O'Brien is not doing very well with that franchise right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they got rid of DeAndre Hopkins, as I'm sure you all know. They tried replacing him with Brandon Cooks. Yeah, Cooks is good. They've, I think they still have a really good wide receiver core. You know, it's it, it's 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 probably the deepest core in the NFL, but losing a star like DeAndre Hopkins is absolutely huge. So, I th I think they're gonna struggle a little bit. I'm I'm just not real confident with Bill O'Brien as a coach. So let's jump right into Week One. Um, well, let's just say last time the Texans played the Chiefs, they got destroyed. Um. Chiefs put up over 50 points on them and just annihilated them. I don't think it's going to be anything different this time. I think Chiefs take that one. Week two, um, I mean, I'm giving that one to the Ravens too. The, luckily, though, they get their their you know two or three hardest games you know out of the way right off the bat. So hopefully later on in the season they'll they'll do a little bit better. So. I don't think they'll win any of those first three games. Just all three of them have really good defenses. And at least the Chiefs and Ravens have very, very good offenses as well. Um, if Big Ben plays well, the Steelers could could have a really good offense as well. So I just don't see the Texans winning any of those three games. Uh, week four, we have the Vikings at the Texans. Um, Vikings are kind of a difficult team. They're a team that I still think has a lot of potential, including a really solid defense um, and good coaching. You know, I think Kirk Cousins is actually pretty underrated as well. Um, so for that reason, I'm actually giving this one to the Vikings. Um, I know they lost to Fun Diggs, but I think Justin Jefferson will have a really good year. Um... And, of course, Adam Thielen is still a stud. I expect him to, you know, have another big year. Um, I'm giving this one to the Vikings, but I could see it go either way. Week 5, we have the Jags at the Texans. Um, Jags, in my opinion, are the team to get Trevor Lawrence. Um, I don't see them doing well at all this season. Um, their defense isn't good anymore. Their offense is meh at best um you know when I was doing the Jags prediction I honestly debated on having the Texans sweep them I do think the Jags will steal or will will actually take one of those games but it's going to be close and I do think the Texans are the better team there um week six we have the Texans at the Titans <clears throat> this one um, I know this is going to sound crazy to a lot of people. I'm going to have them split with the Titans, but I'm actually going to have them win in each other's stadium. So Texans win on the road and Titans win on the road. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of you, a lot of you guys because oftentimes road teams don't win against divisional rivals unless it's this just crazy lopsided game but here I think I think they'll win on the road week seven we have the Packers at the Texans and kind of a surprise here I think the Texans will actually upset the Packers here um Deshaun Watson is kind of upset with how the start of the season went and I feel like he's going <clears> to <throat> have a chip on his shoulder for this game and really want to beat Aaron Rodgers, and I think I think he can do that. Um, so going into Week 10, we have the Texans at the Browns. Um, 
Browns, I think, will have a better year than they did last year. But I'm still not sold on them as the super dominant, um, you know, like 12 and 4, 13 and 3 type of team. So I'm giving this one to the Texans here. That would that one will be a close game. I think it'll be a fun game, but I'm take I'm taking the Texans there. <clears throat> Week eleven, um, I would have actually taken the Texans here, but the Patriots got Cam Newton, and I do think it'll actually make that big of a difference here. Um, Cam Newton, I feel like is still very athletic. I think he's actually healthy now. Um, he's been working on his passing in 2018 with the Panthers. Um, he was having an MVP like season before he got injured. Um, his passing accuracy was like 67%, I think it was, which is among the top in the league, you know, plus the Patriots have a better offensive line than, than the Panthers had at the time. So I, I do think, I do think it'll make that big of a difference here. Week 12, we have the Texans at the Lions, and I'm giving this one to the Texans. Lions, I'm just not super confident in here. Um, Lions have a very good offense, but Matt Stafford always gets injured. Um, on Johnson keeps getting injured. Yeah, they offensively, they've got one of the most talented rosters in the NFL. But they've got bad coaching, a lot of injury issues, and a bad defense. You know, I, I think they're I think they're still a ways off from actually being good. Um week thirteen, I know this is gonna upset a lot of Colts fans. Originally I had the Colts sweeping the Texans. Well, I think they're gonna split now. I think the Texans win at home and the Colts win at home. Um, Colts, I feel like, are beginning to be a bit of an overrated team here, and I just don't quite see them being this just totally dominant team that everybody sees them as. I mean, Phillip Rivers is, I think he's like 38 or 39 years old, and, you know... T.Y. Hilton has injury issues. Um, I think Marlon Mack and uh, Jonathan Taylor will still have, you know, really good seasons. But just, I'm not, I'm not as sold on that team as a lot of other people are. You know, I don't think Philip Rivers is going to lead them to the playoffs. Week four, we have the Texans at the Bears. This was a rough one. I know there are already a lot of Bears fans that were that were super upset at me in that in those comments. Um, Bears just have no offensive firepower. They're not gonna be one of those teams that can that can go to the playoffs just completely off defense because the league is adjusting. A lot of teams are getting you know a much better defense and offense. Um, Bears are falling behind. I'm not seeing them really adjusting well. So, yeah, I just, I don't really see the Bears doing well. However, this is one of the few games where I think their defense will win them the game. I think Mitch Trubisky may have a decent game here because I'm not real confident in the Texans' secondary here. Um... Plus losing uh, their defensive lineman, uh, his, his name just slipped my mind. Um, I can't think of his name right now, but they're they're really good defensive linemen from last year. I think that's going to hurt him in this game. Um, and I think the Bears take that one. Week 16, um, overall I just think the Texans are a better team than the Bengals and are better coached. Um, plus they're playing at home. I, I don't see the Bengals taking that one. I really don't. So, then I already talked about the t Titans game. So, overall, I have the Texans as 7 and 9. Um, I know that's not going to be real exciting for a lot of Texans fans. I know they're kind of upset with that, but 
if Bill O'Brien made smarter choices there, I could see them being up to like a 10 and 6, possibly even 11 and 5 team. It doesn't help that they've got a really rough roster too, with the Chiefs, Ravens, Steelers, Vikings, um, Packers, Titans twice, Colts twice, Bears have a tough defense, you know, Patriots, even Browns, you know, it's a that's a tough schedule. So, sorry, it's not the Texans' year, but I think they need to do something about their coaching, because... Bill O'Brien, I do feel like, is kind of tearing down that franchise. So, let me know your prediction in the comment section below for the Houston Texans. Let me know if you think they'll make the playoffs, or if they will fall down even lower than 7-9. And I will see you next time. Later.